Welcome to a review video on microscope use. This is Mr. Phillips, your science teacher. This video has two parts to it. First, we will review the parts of a microscope, and then we will go through the steps for properly using your microscope. At the end of this video lesson, there are a series of questions that can be answered on a separate sheet of paper for credit in class. Let's start out with the parts of the microscope. Starting up here at the top, this is where you put your eye. This is called the eyepiece. Below that is the body tube that connects the eyepiece to the rest of the microscope. Clicking on the left side of this picture, we've got three lenses coming off of our microscope, a small, a medium, and a large. The small has the low power lens in it. The medium has the medium power lens in it, and the long one has the high power lens in it. Keep in mind the eyepiece also has a lens in it. Below your lens is the stage where you'll clamp down your slide, your specimen, using the stage clips. Below the stage is your light source, which is controlled by an on and off button. We move to the right side of our diagram, once again starting up at the top. We've got the arm. This is one of the areas where you hold the microscope when you're carrying it. You've got the course adjustment knob. This knob is used to take your stage and raise and lower it quickly. Below that is your fine focus knob or your fine adjustment knob. This also moves your stage, but it moves it very slowly. And then finally you have the base of your microscope, which is the other location you carry your microscope from. Let's go through the basic steps of using your microscope. Once you've set it up, when you're on each power, low, medium, and high, you're going to follow four basic steps. You're going to find your specimen. You're going to focus on your specimen using the focus knobs. Then you're going to center at least one of the specimens in your field of view. And finally, switch to the higher power. Of course, when you're on high power, you don't necessarily need to center or switch your specimen because you're not going to another power beyond that. So if we start out, we're going to lower the stage as far as it will go, and we're going to make sure that we're on low power. Then we can place our specimen on the stage. We can place our slide on the stage. Then we're going to raise the stage as high as it will go and look through our eyepiece. At that point, you may or may not be able to see your specimen. If your stage is raised all the way, you have a very good chance of seeing your specimen. In this case, we have some small microorganisms seen here under low power. If your specimen is blurry, then you would go ahead and use your coarse adjustment and fine adjustment to bring in the focus on your specimen. If we go back to our basic steps. Once you found it and focused on it, the next step is to center your specimen. So in this case, we would move around our slide until at least one of our little cells here was in the center area. In this case, we've got some in the center, so we're ready to move on to the next power. So what we're going to do now is switch to our medium power lens or objective. And once again, when we look through, we're going to use our coarse adjustment knob and our fine adjustment knob to focus on our specimen. Here's our specimen under low power. We see several cells here. They're focused pretty well, but the next step is we want to make sure that at least one of the cells is in the middle of our field of view. So we would move around the slide itself until that was the case. So here we've got one in the middle, so now we're ready to switch to high power. So we're going to take our high power lens, we're going to rotate that down so it's pointing to the specimen, and then we're going to look through our eyepiece. Here we can see our specimen magnified even further under high power. If your image is blurry, then you're going to want to take your fine adjustment knob, and only your fine adjustment knob, to try to focus on the specimen. You would not use your coarse adjustment knob under high power. It moves your stage too quickly up and down, and since your high power objective will be very close to your slide, you do not want your stage moving very quickly. Remember when you're on high power, you don't necessarily need to, to center your specimen. 
because you're not going to be switching after one. When you're done observing under high power, it's time to shut down your microscope. So at that point, you would take your low power objective and rotate that back down so it's pointing to your specimen. And then you may take your course adjustment knob and lower your stage so that you have room to take your slide off. Once your slide off is off, you can turn off your microscope using your on-off button, wind the cord around, and cover it up. Let's go through some questions. We'll start with some basic parts. Question number one. You may want to pause at this point to take out a piece of paper. Question number one, what is the name of this part of your microscope? That's question number one. You may pause to answer. Question number two, what is the name of this part of your microscope? It's the longest of the three pieces here. It's the longest one. What is that? That's number two. Question number three, what is the name of this piece of, uh, of your microscope, the piece you look in? This is question number three. Question number four. What is the name of this knob? Question number four. Question number five. What is the name of this work surface where you place your slide? It's question number five. Number six is about the use of the microscope. For number six, when you first set up your microscope, where should your stage be located? Should it be at the top, in the middle, or as low as you can make it? That's question number six. Where should this piece of your microscope be located when it's, once your microscope is set up and you're ready to look at your slide? Question number seven, when you are first focusing on a slide, which of these knobs should you use first? Which of these knobs should you use first when you are first focusing on a specimen? Question number eight. Once you have focused on your specimen, before you switch to the next lens, what should you do? Before you switch to the next power, what should you do to your specimen? Question number nine. When you're on high power, which part of your microscope should you not work with? When you are on high power, which part of your microscope are you not allowed to work with? Question number 10. When you are done viewing under high power and you're putting your microscope away, which power should you leave your microscope on? Low, medium, or high? When you are all done and you're going to take your slide off, which power should your microscope be on? Low, medium, or high? That is the end of the microscope review video. At this point, you may want to rewind and replay any questions you were unable to answer. You may also go back and view the instructional part of the video to help you answer any questions that you were unable to answer. Thank you.